This is the Sandmark anamorphic lens for the iPhone XS Max. And this lens can be attached to pretty much any smartphone that you may have uh, using the provided clip, uh, but I wouldn't recommend it. The only thing that this packaging is different and is specialized for the iPhone XS Max is the case that's provided in this kit. It is essentially an aftermarket anamorphic lens for the camera on your smartphone. So without any further ado, let's crack into the box and take a look at what's provided in this packaging. First and foremost is the actual case. It's a really nice material that feels nice to the touch. Uh, the buttons on this thing are really substantial and they are actual aluminum. So when you uh, press the button, it provides a really nice tactile feel. And it has this uh, nice inlay uh, within the case as well to prevent from any scratching or anything like that. And it is open-ended for the iPhone XS Max, so the bottom part is actually open. And that's one thing that I wish that they didn't do. I wish they would have made it a, a full encompassing kind of case because when you're handling your phone, uh, trying to attach a lens to these threaded mounts up here, um, I've almost dropped my device a couple of times. The business end of this case has a pretty substantial thread mount system for you to attach the lens to your smartphone. And there's this nice little indication mark here that you will need to use when you are attaching the anamorphic lens to your system. Next is a nice carrying pouch for the lens and the lens itself is inside. I've been using this for quite some time. You are provided a microfiber cloth for cleaning, which is I use all the time, so I would just keep it in the actual bag. And here is the lens. Let's take off the lens cover and take a look at this lens system. And we'll take off the back part. These aren't threaded, they just pop off. So one thing that I will say that I have trouble with is attaching this system to the actual case because I don't want to cross thread, so I'm very careful with attaching it. After a couple of times, I'm getting used to attaching this lens, and you just tighten it down. And here you can see the line mark on the case and the line on the actual lens itself need to be lined up. If it's not, it'll put your footage off canter and make a, a really weird result in your footage, so make sure that you have this lined up with the case. We'll, we'll take a look at what happens when you don't have this lined up. So here we are in Filmic Pro, and when you don't have the lens lined up, you can see what it's doing to my footage. It's kind of warping it, and it's introducing these weird vignettes. So if you have it vertically, you can see there's a pretty substantial issue with the footage. So you wanna make sure that this line is lined up with the top of the case so you have as straight as footage as possible. And finally, Sandmark uh, provides you with this clip so you can attach it to any smartphone. I will say that I tried to attach this to the LG G8 and it was dang near impossible to have it lined up perfectly. And this is kind of just like um, uh, nice to have, but I wouldn't recommend using it if you don't have to. I would purchase the provided case or get it in a kit with the case for the smartphone that you have. So here's a sample of me recording on my iPhone XS Max with a Sandmark anamorphic lens. Right in the center, everything's really sharp. There's no chromatic aberration or distortion occurring. But if you look a little bit off to my side, you can see how wide the field of view this is. On this side, you'll notice that the my shelving is bending and that's just part of the distortion factor of the anamorphic lens. And if you look over on this side, you'll notice that there's like this really like bluish red type of stuff. That's the chromatic aberration that's occurring with this. Uh, another thing to note is that if you want to shoot with this stabilized, I highly recommend that you use um, some sort of gimbal or something. So you don't use the sensor stabilization because it, using Filmic Pro and you use the stabilization that that allows you to do on your iPhone, you'll start to notice that there are some vignetting occurring and that's just because the sensor is inside of the phone moving around and it's causing this vignetting issue with this lens. So don't use that if you're going to go this route. Another thing that you're going to want to note with this is that when you're shooting with Filmic Pro and you enable their anamorphic feature, I would highly recommend that you record that into the phone because you'll get a 2-4 ratio with that and that's closer to what probably is what you want. If you don't and you process it out and you de-squeeze in your editing software, it's closer to a 2-3-5 ratio. It's not quite, but that's what will happen. So yeah, I would recommend that you just kind of preview and record into that because you know what you're getting. And when you bring it into your editing software, you're ready to go. Again, this is just a sample of this. And if you, you take a look, it's, it's producing some really nice 
anamorphic, you know, lens flare. Like the stuff on this stuff is really like substantial. Like if you get out here it's, you, and you got that chromatic aberration occurring, like it looks good. It looks authentic. And it's not as sharp as, you know, a cinematic camera, but for 160 bucks, I mean, the results you get from this lens are phenomenal. So one last thing that I want to note with this A-roll is that you'll notice that there are black bars on the bottom and top of that. It's because of YouTube's processing that I had to record and, and you know shoot this because it won't allow me to add end screen titles to this video. So if you want to see like the true ratio that's being shot into Filmic Pro on the iPhone XS Max, hit the card here and check out that three minute sample of some low light and some, you know, I shot some faces and different shapes and you can get a good feel of what this lens will produce for your footage. So all in all, the Sandmark anamorphic lens for the iPhone 10, 10s, and 10s Max is a pretty good addition to shooting some footage. I will say that I would recommend uh, investing in a separate camera app like Filmic Pro so you can take full advantage of the anamorphic de-squeeze feature that's provided in that software or that application. Um, I had some difficulty de-squeezing the footage that I was recording directly to uh, iOS's camera app and storing it on my device uh, directly. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting a separate camera app if you're looking at getting this lens for your setup. Before I close, I must disclose Sandmark was kind enough to send this lens out to me for testing and review. And without them, this video would not have been possible. Uh, if you're interested in pricing and availability, it'll be linked in the description. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I am Tomas and I will catch you in the next one.